Oh! Hi guys! Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Do you ever find that sometimes you'll be in a bit of a no-nonsense mood, you'll click on a YouTube video, and you'll get served an ad that you just don't have time to watch? I get it, it can be frustrating, especially if you try and skip the ad, and nothing happens. Bizarre. Today, I'm offering you a solution to exactly that problem. A solution that will let you, literally, buy yourself some time. For $27, you can buy yourself a time tea. And, admittedly, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you the time of your life. Oh, what's that sound? Positive change. So, with every order of a time tea, you'll also get yourself a waffle keychain that have been limited for all merch campaigns, and if you're in the first batch of orders, we can't do this all day, you could also get yourself a gold waffle keychain thrown in on top. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to Mr. Waffle Waffles here, where this week, we're going to be making waffles. Yes, you heard me correctly, Mr. Waffle Waffles is about to teach you how to make waffles, which means this is a pretty special day. It's truly Christmas come early. So, first things first, we need to brown our butter in a pan. So, get 100 milliliters of unsalted butter, chuck it in a pan on a low to medium heat, slowly heat it through, and once it's all melted, and after a couple of minutes, you should start to see brown particles forming within the butter. That signals that it is browning, and you can take it off the heat, pour it into a cup, stick it in the fridge, and save that bad boy for later. While that is cooling, we're going to get our dry ingredients together, and we'll be doing it in a large mixing bowl, because this is the bowl that we'll be adding all the wet ingredients to later in the process, in order to mix everything together and create our waffle mix. So you want a spacious bowl, so you don't have to do a bunch of extra unnecessary transfers. The first ingredient we'll be putting in there will be 420 grams of all-purpose or plain white flour. Once you've got your flour measured out, we're going to add some further flour to that in the form of corn flour, and we'll want one tablespoon of corn flour. That's also called cornmeal in the United States, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's how it is over there. We will be adding to that one teaspoon of baking powder, so that's going straight in there, and we'll also be adding salt, maximum a teaspoon, I would say. Don't go over that. I'd say that a teaspoon is actually a little excessive unless you're making some kind of caramel sauce. I would aim more for half a teaspoon or around that amount at least. Grab a whisk and mix all of those dry ingredients together so you've got a nice, evenly distributed mixture. You then need to grab yourself two other bowls, and what we're going to use these bowls for is separating our eggs. So, we've got two large eggs in this recipe, and each of them need to have their yolk and white separated. You can do this using the shells, or you can do it using your hands, or fail to do it using your hands as I'm doing in this clip here, but regardless of your chosen method, you need to separate your whites from your yolks, and I recommend that you crack the whites, so you keep the yolks, and you crack the whites into whatever bowl you have that is slightly wider and easier to whisk, because we'll be whisking up the whites to stiff peaks in just a moment. However, for now, we're going to be focusing on the other bowl with those two egg yolks that we've just separated. Into that same bowl, we're going to add 420 milliliters of buttermilk. That's going to go right in there. Be careful not to splash it all over yourself, as I did in this clip here. And also in there is going around two-thirds, so around 65, 66 milliliters of the browned butter that we previously put in the fridge. Mix that all up so you've got a nice, once again, evenly distributed mixture, but this time with the wet ingredients. And then, turn your focus to those egg whites. Now, this is definitely easiest with an electric mixer, as opposed to doing it just with your arms. You may find that your arms get tired, and you have to ask a friend to help out if you're really feeble like I am. But, you're gonna whisk those egg whites until you can raise your whisk 
out of the mixture and have a kind of froth form a sharp peak below the whisk. That's what Stiff Peaks is, and that indicates that you are ready to go. In fact, I probably overwhisked it here just a little bit and went beyond Stiff Peaks into kind of not stiff territory anymore, just a bulbous cloud. Anyway, once we've got those whisked to stiff peaks, we're going to mix our wet mixture into our dry mixture. So that's not the peaks just yet. The egg whites can sit on the side for a moment. Mix your wet into your dry. Get that all mixed up so it's a consistent uh, consistency, I guess would be the word that I'd go for there. Essentially, you don't really want any lumps in the wet mixed with dry mixture. And if it's a bit too stiff for your liking, it doesn't hurt to add a little splash of buttermilk. Maybe also another thing that you can add here is a little splash of vanilla flavoring or vanilla extract. That's always a fun one to go in. And once that mixture is consistent, we'll then be able to fold in our egg whites. Now be very careful because you don't want to get rid of all the air that you've whipped up into those egg whites when you're folding them into your mixture. So use like a spoon like I'm using here or something like that and just be very gentle in your mixing of the whites into the rest of the mix. It's better to err on the side of not mixing it enough so that you don't over mix it and then get rid of all your air and you end up with a really dense claggy waffle. You then need to grab your waffle iron and turn it on so that it heats up and is ready to go. As soon as it beeps or whatever the signal is in order for you to start putting your waffles inside, you're going to grab your mixture, dollop it in, and I'd say aim for just under a cup of mix if you can possibly help it. I feel like that was the perfect size for my waffle iron, but your mileage may vary. You obviously need to find out what works for you. I do recommend though that you err on the side of underfilling rather than overfilling just because it's quite a bit less messy that way. You can always make half a waffle at first and then you'll know exactly how much you need to use in future. Anyhow, I toast my waffles on the maximum setting on my iron, the five setting, which is the crispiest, for five minutes. And I aim to take them out just on the five minute mark. That's always the best for me. However, after five minutes, you should find that you're doing a little dance out of pure excitement at how good it smells. You'll open up your waffle iron and... Oh... Hold on, the merch advert at the beginning of this video wasn't all that I'm releasing this Christmas? There's more? And they're waffle socks? Yeah, so I'll explain in a moment, but I do want to quickly say that this is a real waffle recipe and it does make really good waffles. The waffle I was eating at the beginning of this video was made using this recipe and I'll have some on screen right now that you can see as well. It's definitely a successful recipe, but I figured it would be cool to show you guys my waffle socks as well because I'm so excited about these things and I mean, I guess here are some more details. So hopefully you've managed to figure out what I've been going on about in this video, which is basically that these bad boys are on sale now as are my waffle socks, which I'm so excited about. Oh my goodness me. I've been planning this for so damn long, man, but they're in super limited supplies. And so if you want a pair of the socks or you want the shirt, you're going to have to act pretty quickly. Waffles.ownage.com is the link. It's been about a year since I last did merch, so it feels really weird to be saying that, but really glad to finally be able to do it. And I guess I'll now give you just a little bit of info about both the socks and the shirts. So the shirts are $27 just because of the fact that we've printed all over the material, like the whole thing is printed. And so it costs a little bit more to produce that way. Uh, also the socks come as a pair. So it's two pairs of socks. So that means you get four socks, okay? Just to be clear, you get two pairs of socks, all right? And that's gonna be $12 for the pack. If you're wondering what the waffle socks look like, yes, I'm on the floor right now, yes, these are the waffle socks in all their glory, syrup on the toes, syrup on the toes, and just the waffle patterning just looking so good. I love them. So they go down about that far. If you're curious about length, hold on. All right, there we go. So they're kind of whatever that cut of sock is, I suppose. And yeah, I think they're pretty great, to be honest. They're really rather warm as well, which is nice, but they're not really thick. So if I do that, you can kind of see that they're not massively thick, but they are pretty warm in my opinion. So I love them. I think that these are the coolest goddamn socks that I own now. Straight away catapulted into sock stardom. And you can own a pair or a pair of pairs as well for 12 bucks. 
also in those orders like I mentioned and the details of this are on the website but you can get the waffle keychain that I think I have in my pocket no I don't it's on the desk just here you can get yourself a waffle keychain again which is really cool and we've got gold versions this time which you can get alongside these ones you've really got to be speedy in getting your order in because there won't actually be that many left before we sell out so you really got to be quick They'll also all arrive before Christmas, assuming you order them basically today. If you don't order it today, then your likelihood of getting it before Christmas obviously slowly reduces because every now and then there are delays in certain areas around Christmas because the postal service gets so overloaded. But we are working extra, extra hard to make sure that everything arrives on time. So if you order today, even if it's an international order, like you're in the UK, we'll ship international orders first. They should arrive before Christmas. And if you're in the States, you've got loads of time and they'll arrive before Christmas as well, okay? So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of goofy announcement way of telling you about the merch without telling you about the merch directly and just having a bit of fun. I figured this might be a bit more of an entertaining way to kind of get the message across as opposed to just being like, hey, super good news announcement thing, which is what I've basically done in the past. But I mean, hopefully you guys like the merch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as well. Even if you're not going to buy the merch, hopefully you enjoyed the vid. I tried to make it entertaining and I will see you guys no doubt in my next video very soon. Tally ho. Bye bye.